I always have knee-jerk reactions to everything. I like to shoot first and ask for forgiveness later frequently. In this series, I like to record by immediate unthinking emotional reaction. I have those often. I know you and Steeler Nation are prone to them too. While watching the Steelers conquer the Ravens 299 at Montana, I recorded my initial thoughts with no time to reconsider them. Take these in. As always, I welcome you to weigh in. I keep talking about Road Ben versus Home Ben. I'm hoping the problem isn't merely Old Ben. But I'm starting to get concerned. Ben got cracked with an interception on his record, but it seemed to me that Antonio Brown was making a football move, and that should have been a fumble caused by the ground. Speaking of Brown, we shouldn't be too surprised of his tantrum for not being thrown to while egregiously wide open early in the game. We've seen this a few times before from Ab. Has a very selfish teammate who has to get his. Hell get 15 20 targets next week because he won't let this go and buzz in Ben's ear all week. Is the coaching staff saving James Harrison for a rainy day or ignoring him either way? This is probably the end of the road for Debo. I found the defense to play decent today with good pressure and tight coverage. The run defense gave up one big one, but still we aren't terrible. But how damaged are the Ravens? I really don't think that they beat a good team today. 31 in the regular season is always nice. But it's even better when you accomplish that record by playing three of your first four on the road. Cam Hayward is simply that damn good. Way too many errors to feel overly comfortable. Penalties are going to really haunt this team down the stretch. Juju Smith-Schuster is very aggressive all day long, leaving him susceptible to penalties. As a receiver, I can't help to think that number 19 has possibly surpassed Eli Rogers on the depth chart. Lev Bell came alive during his fourth regular season game. Hmm. Playing three preseason games would have really helped his cause and gave him a better argument for that $17 million he covets so much. Not the prettiest or cleanest win, but I find besting Baltimore at home very satisfying. As always, it is now time to rewatch highlights and pen my apologies. Thanks for indulging this jerk's patella ponderings.